But here it is. New Gallup poll shows the majority of Americans are no longer on board with the Truon movement, even on the left. Wow. 69% of Americans oppose trans athletes competing against those of opposite birth sexes, which is a 7% increase in the last two years. Now, here's how the charts uh, lay out here. <laughs> Republicans, 86% against, now up to 93% against. A lot of those people who had no opinion have since gotten off the fence. I'm sure Tim Pool doesn't like the competition. Yeah. But then you got to independents <laughs> have gone up from 63 to 67% against. Democrats have gone from 41 to 48 percent against. Now, in regards to Tim Pool, uh, he's, I, he's I watch, getting off the fence. <laughs> I watch his show all the time. So and do I. Like five, six years ago, three, four years ago, he was milk toast on the fence kind of guy. He's but getting more pissed off with time because it's so stupid. Yeah, anyone with a brain who knows how to use this, like, wait a minute, pick a side. This is insane. Okay, I could pick the side of lunacy, or I could mm-hmm. stay on this side where people still use logic, reason, and believe in the you know the real world. Yeah. And that's really what it is. I think he's slowly understanding the fact that it's not about Democrat or Republican or even independent. This is about freedom versus globalism. Correct. Though that's the side that we're truly on. Mm-hmm. And so anything the media tells you is bad, you should probably get on board with it. <laughs> Let's be completely frank. <laughs> yeah. They're the ones who have been demonizing the only good president we've had since 1984. Mm-hmm. So mm. pretending tax relief didn't exist, pretending like it was bigotry when it was national border security. Yeah, we all know what side you're on, media. It's not a good look. Nope. Oh, and right here at home, I didn't even do both of the stories that come from this area. One of them is also from Hand Tramick, but here in Dearborn, we have another they're the first uh, city right. in the state to elect a Muslim majority council, <laughs> and they have banned the pride flags from public flagpoles. Good. Ham Tramick has now followed suit for the same reason, and what is the LGBTQ WTF LOL response? Oh, it's betrayal! It's How terrible. dare you! Uh, oh, oh, uh, I'm going to be honest. I mean, literally, expect? there are forces of evil who are preying upon the mentally weak or the yep. mentally sick. It, it, it is terrible. And they on. have engineered the what remains of the family structure in this country to be primarily about single parents that breed this kind of easily manipulated mindset because it's not balanced with logic. Yeah, well, I mean, that I do call them single mothers felony factories for a reason. Exactly. But my favorite thing is there was a few years back and we made fun of this on the show when it happened because I'm thinking, you know, if you went to Saudi Arabia and put up signs like this, you're going to die. You might believe you can fly. No, you will test gravity. You will test it, <laughs> and you will fail. But I'm going to ask the uh, the loose gay butt twerking queers uh, ignorantly anal fisting each other. <laughs> How do you feel about signs like this now? Yeah. Mm. Uh, it seems kind of dumb. You know what's even dumber? <clears throat> this one. Well, the thing is, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I- I've been to the Middle East, and... Uh, their uh, version of Islam is completely different to what they do over here. And the only reason it's different is because we have the Constitution and we well, that, really don't, we don't like having them practicing Sharia law in the public streets. Well, that and part of their own Muslim doctrine is the permission to lie their asses off to us, yeah. To non believers. Correct. So. That may change in time. Yeah, we'll see. Just saying that this whole this whole westernized Islamic culture, if they were to achieve any sort of majority in an area like we're seeing, mm-hmm. all of a sudden the tolerance they profess on social media goes away. Imagine Shocker. that. Yeah, you can't really blame the white supreme pizzas for this, can you? <laughs> I uh, mean, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> they're all they're all uh, from Middle Eastern descent. I it appears just a bit, just a bit. Now, what happens if you try to pull this shit somewhere else? 
I mean, w- we've theoretically talked about what would happen if you were to try to fly the loose gay butt twerking queer sign against Islamophobia in Saudi Arabia. Mm. Pride Month, the Pride Month flag in Saudi Arabia is basically just a bucket of rocks that they can pick up and throw at your dumb ass for thinking that it's a good place to protest and spread your rainbow bullshit. Yeah. But uh, let's try Istanbul. Uh, here we go. They tried to hold a Troon Pride <laughs> March in Istanbul and got arrested immediately. But it's America that's evil and against you, right? Let's check Correct. it out. Oh, look at it. Oh, stop trying to scream like a girl. We know you're here. Now, I'm going to be honest, okay? What you're seeing happen here is you're seeing what should happen. Yeah. When you have a force like this that is so divisive that it's destroying the culture, and you, destroying you the have legacy. to shut it down. Destroying family legacies, too. Yeah. I mean, this, this is the epitome of evil. I mean, we know that this was meant to destroy families <clears throat> and destroy legacies because the Dutch study which is held up as the oh, gold standard, we talked about this last week, was financed by the puberty blocker makers, and it deliberately avoided all negative results, including a death. Brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> <laughs> but I love these cops. They just went full Stephen Hela. Like, I will send you to Jesus. And then they just, fuck you. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to get harshly punished. Oh, but yeah, I mean, people like this though. A night in the tank. Who knows? I mean, it's, it sounds like a good idea for them. Honestly, listen, I don't want to see anybody like you know killed over this stuff. No, they wouldn't get killed, but you know, they'd, they'd spend a night in the tank. Yeah, drop trow and just agree to be everybody's girlfriend. I'm not. Yeah, a lot of that stuff does happen. Sometimes you got to pay extra for that at the glory hole. So. <laughs> Dick thinking. <laughs> That's a callback. Emotional damage. (laughs) Where's the therapy button? (laughs) This is so fucked up. (laughs) But hey, you know, it's good to know that it's uh, that it's going well for some of the kids. The kids seem to actually the kids are braver than their fucking parents. Yeah, is what I'm seeing. They're getting out there, and they're just like, look, no, we're not going to have it. Okay, we're going to boo this shit if you try to brainwa- brainwash us with it in class. We're going to step on your flags because we've watched you set American flags on fire. You don't like it? Fuck off. Hmm. Because tolerance is not a one-way street. But in their cult, they think it is. Now, this dude here, this dude, he's an American treasure. I love this guy. Make sure your kids are protected. Conservative sergeant on uh, TikTok, if you're actually over 30 and you have TikTok on your phone, shame on you. Mm. But there's uh, there's no shame in this man's game. Convicted child offender Jack Reynolds did an interview where they asked him what sort of characteristics he looked for in a child before targeting them. And he said, more important than the characteristics of the child, he looked at the characteristics of the family. The first thing he mentioned was that if he perceived the father to be a threat, he stayed away. Which tells us a few things, dads. One, you better be a threat. But two, you better be present enough in your child's life to where they know you're a threat. And I would say it tells us one more thing that's very interesting. There's a lot of people right now that seem hell-bent to have sexual conversations with our children without our knowledge. Those are the same people telling us that the very things that make you a threat are manifestations of toxic masculinity. So maybe we shouldn't listen to those people. 100%. That guy right there. I would love to have him on the show. If anybody out there has a TikTok account and can contact this guy, let him know we want to talk to him. Yeah, listen, I'm, a, I'm an old sergeant myself. I'm sure we can uh, yep. have a lot to talk about. Hot damn. <laughs> but that dude, he frames it beautifully. And when you think about that, when you think about the fact that this has all been part of an endgame, is it any shock that they instituted 
no-fault divorce, and then a welfare state, and then all this other shit to encourage women and reward them for kicking the father out of the home so that shit like this would even be possible in the first place? This was not a flash-in-the-pan <clears throat> idea. No, they, they've been setting this up for decades. Oh, yeah. Since, I, I, well, let's be honest. The communists were funding the movie industry in this country going all the way back to the 30s and 40s. The insurgents has been there for almost a hundred years. That's some scary shit. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Right in the butt. And you know what? Before we get to the chats here, I'm just going to read this. This was sent to us by James. He sends us a ton of stuff. Hmm. But this in particular, I think, is something that people need to understand that we have gotten about as far away from this particular creed as possible. It's called the American's Creed. <clears throat> Half of this country has forgotten this or just forsaken it, is the tweet that it comes from here. Mm. I choose not to be a common man. It is my right to be uncommon. I seek opportunity to develop whatever talents God gave me, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dulled by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to barter incentive for a dole. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will not trade freedom for beneficence, nor my dignity for a handout. Mm. I will never cower before any earthly master, nor bend to any threat. It is my heritage to stand erect, proud, and unafraid, to think and act myself, enjoy the benefit of my creations, and to face the world boldly and say this, with God's help, I have done. All this is what it means to be an American. Amen. And a women. It's gay stuff. I know. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the Meat Gazer box.